Let me introduce you to Ensemble Learning. Also explain you what is bagging and what is boosting. Ensemble Learning is the term which is used a lot in the context of machine learning. Machine learning uses various algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree, k-means, random forest and ensemble learning actually is nothing but application of group learning in these context. Ensemble word means group. So essentially here multiple models are built and these multiple models come together to bring forth a model that is much more accurate. So in one line ensemble models means multiple models coming together to give you the final model. Now let me explain you two popular terms which is used in this context. One is called bagging. So bagging is all about making models in parallel. So here you are making models in parallel on various samples. These samples may have the same variable or may have in fact different variables also. And these models then finally vote to give the final model and that becomes the prediction. So if you look at very much the way you do in the random forest, each of the model is predicting y and that is the class of the dependent variable. And whichever has majority that becomes the final class here four are saying y and one is saying n and that's why this becomes the final prediction. So here multiple models were built in parallel and on various data sets and maybe on various variables and they predict to give you the final model. Now look at boosting. In case of boosting models are built in series. So if you look at in case of bagging models were built in parallel in case of boosting models are built in series and in each consecutive model the weights are adjusted based on the learning of previous models. So let's take a look. What you do you divide the data into five part. Let's use one three four and five part to make the model validate on model data set two. Whatever model comes the new model now you take that model again those variables you are taking on 1, 2, portion 4 and 5 and you will validate on portion 3rd. If it validates it's good enough and that's how you'll keep doing. So in many ways k-fold validation is nothing but a boosting technique.